Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and I want to send salutations to all the Akium throughout the four corners of the earth exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son Yahweh Shai in truth and in sincerity all right so this lesson is going to be about getting the crown all right to get getting the crown you got to earn the crown and the crown is uh symbolic of salvation it's a reward for those who overcame the uh the beast and the system and this world okay and that endure to the end and stay faithful unto the Lord. All right, those that counted the cost realized that this world was nothing worth holding on to. They separated themselves mentally. All right, they got themselves mentally prepared for the kingdom and then they took the kingdom, like the scriptures tell you in the book of Daniel. All right, because that's going to be mentally and physically. Mentally, you, you know, you're taking the kingdom every day when you're putting off. You know, saying your old self and putting on the new, which is the refresh, um, the refreshing and, and new you, all right? Renewing your spirit, all right? Because that's, that's how you, you know, you take down one kingdom and raise up another. Because the weapons of our warfare are not, are not carnal, but spiritual. So we're spiritually taking this place down. We're, we're spiritually exposing uh, the, you know, saying the, uh, the secrets and, you know, saying the methods and uh, the philosophy of this wicked kingdom and bringing that uh, that righteousness um, right along with it to expose it and, and, to, and show you the alternative of, of wickedness, all right, which is righteousness. So those that endure to the end are going to get those crowns because they earned it. All right. The elect, you know, saying the one third, you know, the ones who the Lord are going to have mercy upon. They earn their stripes, you know, as they say. You earn your crown. You earn your salvation. But those crowns truly are going to belong to the elect. All right. And, you know, the Lord is going to have mercy upon people um, that stay faithful, you know, which are the one third. Uh, the Lord is going to have mercy upon them. And uh, you're saying they're going to make it. All right. But you got to get that crown. Got to earn it. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 15. It says, but the righteous live forever. Their reward also is with the Lord, and the care of them is with the Most High. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them. All right, the Lord is going to protect us, all right, and make sure that we receive our crowns, all right, which is our salvation, which is our safety, which is our protection. The Lord is going to take care of us, but it's for those that live righteously, all right? It says, at verse 15, it says, but the righteous live forever, uh, forevermore. So you got to be righteous to get those crowns. It can't just be any, any average Joe, all right? The Lord, Lord ain't dealing with average anyway, man. The Lord said he wants you to be on fire, not lukewarm. So he ain't dealing with, he's not dealing with average anyway. All right. He's dealing with uh, the ones that are on fire and the ones that are willing to fight for their crown. All right. The, those that are going to contend for the faith. All right. This is uh, Revelations 2 and 10. It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That ye may be tried. So you're going to be tried. Tried meaning what? You're going to be tested. All right? You know what I'm saying? We're going to be, uh, you know, like like gold is, uh, is tried in the fire. You know what I mean? We're going to be tested in that day. It says, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. And that ten days doesn't necessarily mean ten days exactly. It could be uh, an estimate of, of, of however long it could be it could be 10 seconds 10 minutes 10 days 10 weeks 10 months 
who knows but you're going to have tribulation all right but thou but be thou faithful unto death and i will give thee a crown of life so if you're faithful unto death which the scriptures to say he that endureth to the end shall be saved if you endure to unto death all right you're going to get the crown of life all right you're going to be brought back and had that crown all right you're going to receive your crown you're going to be you're going to receive the kingdom all right if you hold fast and stay faithful all right so you're working for your crown stay faithful stay grounded stay girded in this faith and endure to the end and you will get your crown all right and the lord will protect you you got to believe that it's faith man that is it's all about your faith your faith is going to get you through this all right you know, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. That wisdom and knowledge goes with the faith because it had comes with understanding. When you fully understand what's going on and you understand what's about to happen, you're prepared for it. All right. So with that, all praises to Yahweh, why Yahweh shy.